Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial today we are going to learn how to crochet a mistletoe leaf. For this tutorial you will need a ball of yarn, uh, we're using chunky yarn in forest green, and you're also going to need the hook that works with that yarn, so in this, for this ball of wool we're going to be using a 6mm hook. Okay, so this is a beginner friendly pattern and we hope you enjoy it. So to start, you're going to get your wool, you're going to pop yourself in a slip knot, that's half train. Once you've got yourself a slip knot, you're going to take your hook and you need to pop that onto the hook. So the first instruction in this pattern is to chain 10. So to chain 10, you're going to yarn over your hook with the long tail of your yarn that's still attached to the ball and all you're going to do is you're going to slide the hook through the loop that's already on there like that that's one chain so to do that again it's yarn over and just move the hook through the loop on the chain yarn over through the loop so that's three chains so we need seven more so yarn over through the loop, on over, through the loop. So that's five chains. One, two, three, four, five. And you can you can see them, they look like a plait. And each of the little bumps is one chain. So that's five. So we need five more. So I'm just going to go in and do those now. Okay, so there you have ten chains. Now, chain stitch is pretty much the beginning of all crochet pieces, um, so you're going to need to get get pretty good at this one. <laughs> but ten's not too many to start with, so this is a nice easy one. So the next instruction is to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Now, the second chain from the hook is as easy as it sounds. You just count back two chains from the hook. You don't count the loop on your hook. So that's one, two. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the end of your hook and you're going to poke it through that chain, straight through to the other side. <clears throat> then you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull that through the chain so that you've got two loops on your hook and one of those loops is coming through that second chain. Then you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull the yarn straight through both of those loops so you're left with one loop on the hook and that is a single crochet. <clears throat> so the next instruction is to do seven more single crochets working along the line of chains that you've just done. So here we go. So if you remember, we are going to put our hook through the next chain along. We're going to pick up some yarn and bring it back through. So we've got our two loops. We're going to yarn over. We're going to pull it through both of them. That's one. Put our hook through the next chain. Pick up the yarn and bring it back through, yarn over, and pull it through those two loops, that's two. One more time and then I'll speed over to the end, we're going to put our hook through the next chain, we're going to pick up some yarn and bring it through, so we've got our two loops, we're going to yarn over and we're going to bring it all the way through, that is three. So now I'm just going to go in and do the next four. Okay, so there we've got our seven single crochet and the beginning single crochet that we did to start. So it's eight single crochet in a row. <clears throat> All we've got left now is one chain stitch from our beginning row. So the next instruction is to put two single crochets into that same chain space. So the way we do that is we pop our hook back into the chain, grab our yarn and bring it through like a normal single crochet. Then we're going to yarn over, take it through both of those loops. So that's one single crochet in that space. And then we're going to go back into the same chain, pick up our yarn, bring it through. So we've got our two loops, 
a yarn over and bring it through those ones. So now what we've got is two single crochets in one chain space. And then we have the first half of our leaf completed. How exciting. Okay, so instruction number three is to rotate your work so that the other side of the original chain is now at the top and ready for crocheting. And the row that you've just done is at the bottom. Can you see that? Okay, the next instruction is to put two more single crochets into the same chain you've just put those last two in. So we're going to do that. We're going to put our hook into the hole, pull through our yarn, yarn over through one, put it back in, pick up our yarn and pull it through, and a yarn over, pull it through those ones. So that's two more single crochets. So now there are four single crochets in that one chain space at the bottom. And what that does is it curves your work around the corner. So you're now ready to start working back across horizontally. Okay. So the next instruction is to put eight single crochets in working along those chains. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, We've got one more there. It can be a bit hard to spot that one on the end, but it's just there. Eight. Okay, so now you've got single crochet on both sides of your original chain. The next instruction is to slip stitch into the first chain you worked. So the first chain you worked is this one here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna poke your hook into that chain like so. So that's under two pieces because what it is is it's going underneath the V's of the top of the stitch. You're going to pick up your yarn like you would before and pull that through the first two stains. So you've got two loops on your hook and then you're going to take that first loop and push it underneath that one. So what you've got now is more of a pointed end of your leaf. And then the final stitch is just in one more chain. So you pick up your yarn, pull it through the loop on your hook, I'm going to pull that tail up, tighten that one off a bit. And then if you just grab your scissors, snip, and detach it from the ball. And what you've got is yourself is a mistletoe leaf, which has a pointy end and a rounded end. And now you just need to make 13 more. <laughs> 